and they send back on their journey. Say sure, slow out two lengths. Say sure, slow out two lengths when the starter said go. First one to respond is number eight, White Seed of the Grey. Spring Breeze is pressing around. Sovereign Soldiers beautifully parked at the paint. Quick star, one out and back. Races three lengths off them. Then comes Captain Demonami, racing about five lengths off the leaders. Further back in the running, Go Man Go. Uncle Frank towards the back of the field is Orchid Street. Coming to the 700 pig, White Cedar has the call. Spring Breeze, Sovereign Soldier racing in tight quarters. Quick star between them. Leslie's path to fame running freely. Captain Demonami got about four lengths to make up. Towards the inside, Cesura. White Cedar with 400 meters left to go. Spring Breeze. Quick Star looks to get going, and Sovereign Soldiers a big runner on the inside, says Sura. The white blinkers of Quick Star comes forward. Sovereign Soldier, White Cedar's trying to stay on. Says Sura's up the rail. Quick Star over the last hundred. Sovereign Soldiers the main danger. Quick Star by a half a length, though, and Quick Star goes on to win. Captain Demonami gets up for second. Sovereign Soldier and Uncle Frank in photos. Number four, Quick Star gets up to win and wins well by about a length and a quarter. The much debated Captain De Munami gets up for second. Then came Sovereign Soldier and White Cedar. But number four, Quick Star, MJ Udendal, he'll shine brightly today. He gave the confidence and Quick Star obliges. Captain De Munami. Staying on towards the inner, and then comes White Cedar. But number four, Quick Star. The white blinkers down the middle of the course is staying on for the victory. And that is the eighth and final race from Hollywood Betts Gravel. Sheldon Peters signing off. Well, number well, quick star. Comprende store. any language. Comprende you can talk. Lovely. <laughs> uh, quick star has uh, won the last race and then was confident with this horse because I, I spoke to one of your friends and clients before the race and they said you were confident. Well done. A, a good win. Yeah, he, I said to Raymond today, ride him with confidence. Um, he's, uh, he's come on since his last run. Colin, thank you very much, mate. Sorry you couldn't have made it today. I hope you got it on the phone. And to Mr. Anapa, thank you very much. Uh, to Tommy, my wife, and Kalagata La Pakaya, Siabonga Babas, Tata Bichanskati, Maruzogbula Manje, and to my man, thank you very much. You're my right hand man, you're my left hand man, and uh, you don't know how much I appreciate your help. Thank you, so sir. So you're ambidextrous? Ambidextrous, we are. Tell me about the horse. He won. That's good enough. Uh, That's good enough. <laughs> That's good enough, Em. That's he won, and, uh, but the nice thing is, after his last run, I said to Raymond, I could feel him up again a bit, you know? Yeah. You know, like an athlete that's picking yeah. up a bit. So I yeah. said to Raymond, ride him with confidence. And uh, he did so, and very good ride from him. Um, very happy. You know, it's been, a, it's been a little bit of a while, but I've always said... It takes time, but you I'm, get it right. I've learned, well, I've learned two things, from, two things from a lot of trainers, and uh, the common denominators were patience and discipline. So we stick to that, and uh, yeah, exciting. Also, great color coordination today, from sunglasses down to shoes. Yeah, I must say, uh, I, dress, I, I dress myself. If anybody, <laughs> if anybody wants to uh, get some fashion advice, please contact me. Contact I don't you. charge a lot. Thank you very much, Emin. Well done again. Thanks, mate. Right, is the rider here? Yes, yes, Raymond skulking behind the boards. Well done, great ride. It went well. Yes, Mr. Laff, uh, obviously the draw and uh, the race was very well read by uh, MJ and myself. Uh, he said the pace is going to come from the outside, so I bounced him like I was going to go and he started going a bit hard with me in that first spot. And once the horses came around, I got him covered up and he switched off beautifully. And then, then I always knew he was going to give me a kick. Top of the straight, the horse joined me on the outside and I could feel there was so much horse there and I just waited for the gap and 
as soon as I saw a gap, I had to go for it as quick as I uh, could. I didn't want this horse to run into any trouble, so um, Lada was underneath me. He ran to the line, won well, came back fresh and well, so there's many more to come. They say uh, when you're a jockey, you don't want to ride for an ex-jockey. What, what's it like with Lulu? Actually, uh, look, it's early days, but I, I enjoy, I'm enjoying for riding for, for MJ. Yes, I mean, good. he's doing a very good job. I think yeah. he's very passionate, uh, which is always a, a plus in this game. And um, I mean, I could just feel this was from last time to today. Big, big change in the horse. Um, he's come on so much from his last run. I thought there was a horse in the race that ha had us at the weight and, and form, but this was just came on so, so much from his last run. So well done to MJ. Well done. Thank you. Right, which, who am I talking to? Which owner? Who's coming forward to join me? Come on, M, send the troops in. I can't send the troops in, they've gone to collect. Got to collect. Well, anyway, well done to all of them, and uh, let's do the groom then, and well done to Colin, who couldn't make it. He's in Cape Town, and uh, Warren Lenferner, the racing analyst, and uh, here's MJ with his groom, Atana Tutu. Well done to him, and uh, well done to him for getting that. Well, now we're going to come back in about 20 seconds' time and give you our ride of the day.